The superarticulation effects occur both naturally and musically as you play, because Taros 3 analyzes the way that you strike the key and puts together a string of complex samples to create the most realistic effect. There are three different clarinet voices in the superarticulation 2 set. There's a standard or classical, a ballad clarinet, and the one that I've just played, the romance clarinet, which sounds an octave deeper than the others. Each has its own characteristics and, if I select the standard clarinet, you'll hear that the notes sound differently when played smoothly from when they're played staccato or detached. Little grace notes are added to the detached notes and it's all done automatically. This means that even the absolute beginner will benefit to some degree from superarticulation too, even if he doesn't play as many notes as I do or as fast. If I select the ballad clarinet, you'll hear that when detached notes are played, Tyros 3 adds a glide, or natural pitch bend, to the start of the second note. And if I leap an octave, keeping the notes smooth, the instrument provides a natural glissando, or slide. Whilst it's good that this all happens automatically, I'm sure the more advanced players will appreciate the provision via two articulation buttons for greater control over when and how these effects are applied. Let me show you how it works. I explained earlier that the superarticulation voices are made up of several samples, joined together in various ways to adapt the sound to different playing styles. Each note has a beginning, which we'll call the head. This is the attack you hear when you first strike the key, such as this glide that can be forced onto any note using the ART1 button. And a more pronounced effect is created when the ART2 button is used, giving us the glissando we heard earlier. Finally, there's the tail of the sound, which is what you hear as you release the key. It's all very clever, and when you play a complete piece of music, Tyros 3's computer brain whizzes away, working it all out and putting the right pieces of the sound together, which thankfully means that you don't have to, because all you really have to do is, well, just play naturally. If you're not sure how a voice should react to your touch, or what the articulation buttons do, you can press the info button for a description.